Hey, I'm right back with another video. It's 6 11 a.m. Thursday morning, um, February 15th, 2018. I don't think I need to say the year, but whatever. Anyway, so last night I came home, yesterday I came home and I was watching um, a Netflix series, which I have to say, some of the series on Netflix are actually pretty cool. Um, there's one I'm interested in, it's called Dark. It's a German show. Of course, there's um, translations, I mean titles, subtitles, and um, you also have the option of having an English translation, which is helpful. <laughs> and uh, the series is actually pretty interesting. It's, it's about, like, you know, wormholes and, you know, I guess um, time slips or whatever. It's quite fascinating. So as I was watching my TV show, I get a text message from Joel, um, my soon-to-be ex-husband, and it's basically he took, I used to make, I, I still make refrigerator magnets, but when I was living over at the house, I made a lot of refrigerator magnets. So there was one that he took a picture of, and he titled it the same bit name of the video that I had just made, um, this one's for you, and he doused it with alcohol and then set it on fire. Okay, first of all, I'd like to say to Joel, and the reason why I'm putting this all out in the public is because, um, first of all, everything goes behind the scenes, which is something that cowardice people do. They work behind the scenes, okay? And I'm not interested in bashing Joel. I understand his situation. And, you know, I, I think I've been very good about the whole thing. I really have. Um, he might be upset because um, I was right about this, and he knew what was going on and refused to say a word. So... I don't have anything to be um, sorry about. Now, I will say that um, I'm taking his situation into consideration, and I do forgive him. But at the same time, I, I don't want to have anything to do with him other than, you know, me basically getting my things and, and moving on with my life. Um, because... I think what his family did was completely abusive and completely unnecessary. Um, it, it's not warranted. It isn't. I don't care what they say or whatever. Um, they were in the wrong for doing it. Now, that doesn't say, mean that I was right for lying to him many years ago. But like I said, I think they were lying as well. So, you know, it, it's just being able to handle it in a way that is mature. <clears throat> and, um, you know... Uh, I take responsibility for what would happen, but that has nothing to do with employment, period. It has nothing to do with any of it. So I can't overlook that. I can't, I can't overlook it. Um, it's not necessary for him to send me text messages, especially when this, he's sending me text messages like that on my cell phone plan. Get real, really? Um, so anyway, um, this is talk for Joel. Joel, that's not necessary. Don't send me things like that. You know what I mean? I think I've been very nice to you. I really have. And, you know, you're the kind of person that gets angry about things and then you want to take it out on, on the wrong person. Don't take it out on me. It's not my problem. You know? Um, it's not right. You know? And so, anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I... It's passive-aggressive behavior. You know, you've got something to say. That goes for the rest of the family. you got something to say, say it to my face. Don't work things behind the scenes. I don't have anything. I don't want anything to do with your family. I don't, okay? It's unfortunate that you were a part of that family. It's really unfortunate. I mean, I, I really think there were some times that I spent with you that were really fun, you know, and um, it, it's too bad that, you know, um, I thought we had good times together. I really do. I mean, I thought we had, like, times where we were laughing and we had fun. And um, you were fun to spend time with. You really were, you know. And, um, and, of course, I cared a lot about you. And I still wouldn't want you to be, like, ran over by a truck or anything like that. So um, it's not necessary. It's completely immature, you know. And um, it's basically um, not wanting to take responsibility for any of this. And it, it is. It's childish, you know. You guys are um, at fault for this. Um my work has nothing to do with my relationship and vice versa, you know. And that should be the case with any job that you work. I mean, it, it's so stupid that people would get involved in something like this. It just is, you know. 
Um, I don't want my personal life merging with my work life. That's just how it is. I've always wanted it that way. Unfortunately, um, it's been that way through the years, and that's one of the reasons why I've had to deal with like the workplace mobbings, whether that be from my family, your family, or whatever. Um, I don't want that. You know what I mean? My personal life should be separate from my work life, period. You know, um, I don't want people telling me what I'm supposed to do or anything like that. You know, and that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, I have to have that um, for my own protection. And so, um, whatever the case is, you know, I just knock it off. <laughs> it's just like, this is pointless to sit there and try to keep something like this going on and on and on and on. I'm not interested in raging war with you. I've said everything I had to say about your family. You know what I mean? And I'm not um, harping on it. I just want to get away from it. I don't want any part of it, you know. Um, I, I really do wish you the best. I do. You know what I mean? That's sincere. I mean, I... I don't think that just because I, I had to get away from you doesn't mean that I don't care about you or that, you know, I, I don't, you know, I'm not concerned about your well-being. I mean, of course I am, okay? But I don't deserve that bullshit, and you know it. You know that I don't. But this is a part of your behavior. It's always been that way to where you have to lash out out of frustration, okay? That's not how you deal with things. And I'm glad I'm throwing this out in the public. You know why? Because everything gets said about me and it gets spread, and then people walk around with these false assumptions in their head. And I don't have any problem throwing it out there. I don't. You know what I mean? I have the right to express it. And I get tired of it. I'm tired of, you know, people looking at me with a side eyeball for shit that I'm not responsible for. I'm not responsible for that. You know what I mean? This town is full of people who gossip and make up bullshit. So here it is. It's right out in the open. So, anyway. Um, calm down. I don't want problems with you guys. I just want to get on with my life. You know, as I should. All this shit should have never happened in the first place. None of it. If you were upset with who I was, or if your mom was upset with who I was, then that's something that needs to be handled, like, right up in front of my face, okay? It doesn't get handled in the workplace. You don't bring personal issues into the workplace, okay? And just because I did something like that doesn't mean that I'm not a good person or whatever. We all make mistakes. Just like... I think your whole family, the way that it's set up and the way that you guys act, I don't agree with it, okay? That's your lifestyle. That's your thing. I don't want it, you know? And I have a right to say that, you know? And I shouldn't be penalized because I don't approve of that sort of lifestyle. I don't approve of it, okay? And I feel really, I really do feel as though if you had a different family, things would have been better for you. I really do. And I really feel bad that things didn't work out the way that you should have. You should have had something better in your life. That's how I feel. Now, maybe you're content living in that kind of family. That's your thing, okay? But, you know, like I said, don't send me text messages when you're sitting here on my cell phone plan, okay? Because it, it doesn't make any sense, you know? So anyway, I'm going to overlook that and act as if it never happened. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm getting ready to go to work right now. I just got dressed and I'm kind of hanging out, having some tea and um, waiting for the right moment to slip out the door. I don't want to get there too early. I usually leave like around 6.25 to get there on time. Um, I don't, you know, I, I'm very disappointed in the work sector and how employers really are uninformed about things that they're supposed to know about. You know what I mean? Everything that they're not supposed to get involved in, they find themselves involved in. You know, and it's, there's a lot of corruption and there's so much corruption that it, it, you're corrupt if you let people like that have some sort of control or say, you know what I mean? And yet somebody who I would consider myself to be a decent person, you know what I mean? Um, and yet I, I don't have those rights, you know, that, that's bullshit. I have every right to have rights to say over, have say over my own life, you know? Um, there's a lot of incorrect behavior that goes on out in the work sector, and it's very shocking, you know, which lets, lets, lets me, leads me to believe that um, people who are in certain positions, they don't deserve their jobs. They don't, you know, and it's becoming more and more apparent every day. <laughs> it just really is. So anyway, um, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I don't have a problem talking about it. I mean, sure, it's not something that I want to sit here and indulge in conversation in my free time or whatever, but this is my video channel, you know, and all of my issues are relating to these particular situations, these subjects, subject matter, okay, like my 
relationship with Joel's family, which is non-existent at this point. And I never really had a relationship with the family, but yet somehow or another, they feel as though they had some sort of right to dictate or do something with my employment. You don't, okay? Um, nobody does, okay? Nobody has the right to make decisions for me. That includes the cute guy. It includes, I mean, it, it's, it's wrong, okay? It's wrong on so many levels. You know what I mean? It denies a person the right, their rights, okay? And like I said, women should never be in a, in a submissive position like that to where they don't have control over their life. If they're being abused, they should have the ability to be able to walk away if they want to or if they need to, okay? And yet some people wire the system to where women are going to continually be placed in abusive situations. That is illegal. It's illegal and it's wrong. You know what I mean? Now, I think it's cute that uh, the flat, that the cute guy got involved in it. It is, and I, I, I fully, I understand it. Like I said, I probably would have pulled that myself. But, you know, the thing is, is that um, it, it puts a person in a very bad situation. And I've been in bad situations, okay? A few months ago, I was continuously, my, I, my stress level was just, it was just too much. Too much. Now, what I'm dealing with now is I'm dealing with this aftermath of, like, you know, going through all this stuff. And then, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, and I'm not blaming the cute guy necessarily. I'm blaming Joel's family. I'm blaming my family. All of this. Now, I'm assuming that somehow or another things got changed hands. Like, for example, they thought it was their right maybe to get all together and talk about who's going to be doing what now and then manipulating and controlling my life. It's wrong. It's wrong. You know, and, and there's no reason why you would think that you can't, that it's just, it doesn't make any sense. It's foolishness. It's absolutely foolish, you know. And then also, you know, people manipulating your job. Only you know what you're going to enjoy. Only you know what you're going to thrive at. Only you know what you're going to be able to put your energy, your direct, your your, your focus on and, 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 and apply yourself to, okay. When somebody else makes decisions for you, they're making the wrong decisions. Most of the time they are, okay? So it doesn't benefit anybody to do that. You know what I mean? That's just like me saying, okay, well, you know what? Um, I know that you're a, um, I don't know, um, a salesperson, okay? So, but you know what? I'm going to take you and I'm going to convert you into, uh, I don't know, um, something different that you're not, you, you have no connection with, no attachment to, no, no energy, no no desire, no drive for, period, and then you have this mis mix match, mismatch, you know, where it, it's not beneficial to either person, whether that be the employer or you, okay, it, it doesn't make sense to do that, it doesn't, okay, it's not of any benefit to anybody, okay, and so, um, what time is it, oh, okay, it's almost time for me to split, so anyway, that, that's my rant for today. It's like, you know, um, the, the whole religious aspect of it, I'm sure his family was involved in it, my family was involved in it, um, the cute guy's family was involved Everybody gets sucked into that part of it, all of it. The um, thing is, this, this, this is for the cute guy. Cute guy, you know, if you have any issues about things that you don't like or things that you disagree with or things that you have problems with, that's for <laughs> us to discuss once I get to a chance to know you better. You know what I mean? And that, and I would never put you in a situation where you would have to worry or anything like that. So, communication is key, okay? Communication. And in the communication should be involving two people, not a multiple town, the United States, the world, or whatever. It doesn't need to be done in that way. You know what I mean? Um, anyway. So I'm going to finish this video. I'm going to head out the door. Start my day. And then um, I'll be back with another video later. You know, But I really do recommend this particular show. Um, usually I'm not, I don't like things that are based on things that are not realistic. Okay. I've always been turned off by that sort of stuff. Okay. Like things like Frankenstein, I never got into. Or um, I would watch things like Dracula only because even though Dracula okay, there are no vampires, okay, but the idea of vampires is based on some legends, okay, certain things that actually occurred. Sure, it's a little exaggerated, okay, you know, but still it's based on something that was, you know, um, like a, a, a historical I issues, okay. 
So, like, certain things I was just never really into. But this particular show, for whatever reason, it's got my attention. Also, I was I finished watching The Returned, which was another good show. Um, this show is um, uh, another Netflix show. It's uh, um, um, about people who are coming back from the dead. <laughs> yeah, this show is crazy. They have two um, versions of The Return. They have one that's in the United, made in the United States and one that's made in um, France. I watched the one that was made in France, okay? Um, of course, I had to deal with the translations and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm like, these shows are really interesting. They're really good. Um, now, I don't know. I, I won't really, I don't have any reason to subscribe to cable because I don't like general TV shows. Like, everybody knows I hate reality shows. Everybody knows that, you know, I don't like, um, I don't like, um, you know, just a lot of the crap that you see on TV, okay? I, I, it makes me cringe, okay? And was, aside from that, I don't really see any point in adding more bills into my life, okay? At least from that moment. Um, but um, these particular shows are really good, you know what I mean? Um, they're really getting my attention. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. I will be back with another one later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.